Okay, welcome back, folks, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we're back here today to talk about audio. We're not doing, like, a recorder tutorial today. Um, what we're going to talk about is how to fix um, clipped audio and all sorts of nasty uh, distorted audio, mostly because um, I loaded in my microphone audio from when I was playing SWOTOR with my buddy Phobian for a series that we just started, and I noticed when I went sat down to uh, fix everything and to run it through my filter to level it out and everything, that my audio, if you look up here really close, it looks like somebody took a razor blade and just sliced the top off of all of the big loud waveforms, and so that makes it sound all distorted and kind of poopy. Like, somebody ran up to you when you were recording something on your phone and just screamed into the microphone. So let's have a listen here. Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your, uh, Sith-related host. Okay, so you can see that it sounds really blown out. It's, it's really kind of hard to hear. It's kind of sharp and scratchy sounding. And, uh, we're gonna try and fix some of that so that when we get to post, when we edit stuff in Premiere Pro here, that it doesn't sound quite so bad and it's a little easier to work with. So there's a couple ways that we can do this. Um, the first thing to usually fix this type of audio, if you can, is to just re-record it. But I know there's a lot of people out there like me who like take long session recordings it's almost impossible to redo, like, a gameplay recording and capture that essential, like, naturalness to your first reactions to certain situations. So, to fix that, we're going to use the Diagnostics window. You can find that up here underneath Window, Diagnostics, and this is going to let us fix clipping. You can also fix, um, clicking noises, like you're snapping your fingers or mashing on your keyboard or... I don't know, clicking the, the crap out of your mouse on your other computer. And we're going to have it scan our audio and find all of these different audio samples. When you zoom in all the way here, these little dots are individual audio samples. Um, it's going to scan all of those audio samples, and then it's going to allow us to repair them where a Adobe Audition is going to say, hey, I think I know what sort of frequency that should be, by looking at the stuff to either side of it. Kind of like how Adobe fills in the gaps in Adobe Photoshop, but for audio, kinda. So to do this, we're gonna use the declipper function. That's pretty self-explanatory. It fixes clipping and distorted audio. And we're going to check out the settings and let's put this on lightly clipped audio. So the presets for this are actually pretty decent for 90% of your purposes, but the main thing to look at here, aside from the gain that you want to set it towards, to so automatically adjust it so it sounds natural, is you want to come down here to Tolerance. This little slider is what's going to make Adobe Audition work harder or softer to really mash the pants off of your audio so it can fix it as best as it can. Uh, for the most part, you probably don't want to go beyond 1 to 5%, but we're gonna try it on like... I don't know, I've actually not pumped this up this high. Let's pump this up to 10, because I've already fixed this audio and I know what it sounds like when I leave it at default settings. And we'll set that to 10, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scan our audio clip. So, once it's done, this might take a while, depending on the, the length of your clip. It's going to come back with all the different audio channels that have been clipped. In our case, it should be a bunch of these that are sliced off at the top here. And then all you need to do is just don't select anything. It'll just automatically run through all of them and simply say, repair all. And then once it's done, oh, look at that. Now, doesn't that audio look much much more natural. Isn't that great? Now let's have a listen to the fixed audio after I zoom out just a little bit. Alrighty, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your, uh, Sith-related host. 
Larry the Chupacabra, also known as the Great and Mighty Lord Pringle. All right, so it sounds a bit better, but I'm not super happy with uh, the fact that it sounds really muted, like someone put like a sock covered in chloroform over my mouth when I was doing a recording to really spice me up. So let's pull this back down, and let's set our tolerance down to like 2%. We'll put this back up, and we'll scan it again so that it doesn't re- repair stuff that's already been fixed, and then let's repair it now. Alright, so it didn't- it looks like it kind of did about the same thing to the waveform, but let's hear what it sounds like. Alrighty, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your, uh, Sith-related host. So it sounds a little less muted, but the trouble with using the D-Clipper on severely jankled audio is that it's gonna sound distorted, it's gonna kinda sound scratchy, like there's sand somewhere in the microphone or something, and it's not going to be 100%, so you might have to do things like adjust the bass, you know, adjust your volume to add, like, some high pitch or some low pitch, but it should sound pretty good now once we run it through my vocal leveling preset, my Larry Normalizer. So that's going to run it through a couple of filters, it's going to compress it, it's going to run it through a single band compressor, and now it's going to look a lot more, uh, like it should. A lot more evened out and level. Alrighty, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your, uh, Sith-related host. Okay, so that sounds pretty good, and I think most people would probably be able to overlook the fact that it kind of sounds a little scratchy. Like, I don't know, maybe my microphone that I'm using right now got screwed up, or I unplugged it, and I was using, like, a backup microphone. So it's not terrible, but it's not perfect. Again, the best way to fix these sorts of things is to re-record your episode of, like, whatever gameplay, or, I mean, maybe it's kind of hard to re-record a podcast, but if you're doing, like, a narration piece, then it's probably pretty simple to just go back over and record everything. And this is another reason why you should always check that your audio levels are the best that they can be before you go in and record. Because what happened to my microphone was I dropped it, it fell over, and the knob on the back of it that controls the audio gain was jacked up a couple of notches, and that was just enough to throw off my audio. So be careful out there and always do some pre-testing uh, before you do recording just to be sure that that sort of thing doesn't happen. Now, if for whatever reason, using the D-Clipper in Diagnostics doesn't work for you, the other way that a lot of different tutorials, including Adobe, recommend using is finding the FTT filter, going to Default, and then just select a section that's really badly clipped, like right here, play it on loop by enabling this little arrow box thing down here, and then just selecting a section, and as you listen to it, in fact, let's turn this down so it doesn't be really annoying while I, actually, I'll just, I'll turn down the volume of the background noise while we're recording in post. So let's just listen here. Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So it sounds like some higher hurt stuff is getting messed with. Let's move this around. Ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty, welcome. See, just with a couple of clicks, you can already hear that I've gone up, I've pulled down the levels, and I've kind of fixed it a little bit. I haven't used this filter a lot, so you're going to have to find another tutorial in order to get the most out of the FFT filter. Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your, uh... There we go, perfect. Well, it, it's not perfect, but it's better. And if I ran this through the D-Clipper again, I'll bet that that ends up fixing 90% of our problems, and it'll only sound just a little smidge distorted. So, that's it for this episode, guys and gals and pan-dimensional cryptid beasts. Uh, I hope this helps you out fixing distorted audio. Uh, if you have a question about any of this, let me know. I'm not exactly an audio expert yet. I've taught a lot of this to myself over the last year or so, but I do a pretty decent job with my audio, so let me know. And if you're curious about how I level out my audio, then I'd be more than happy to do a video about that. It's not super technical. You'd mostly just be downloading my presets. So until next time, uh, I've been your host, Larry. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if this helped you out, maybe suggest stuff for future tutorials. And if it fits your fancy, uh, don't be afraid to check out Larry's gaming channel, where I check out all sorts of video games, do um, previews, reviews, let's plays, first looks, and eventually interviews. So yeah, have a good one everybody. Toodaloo!